Hey guys, how are you? Hello, happy Monday, Morcos, Bobby, Magnus, Kudo. Um, uh, Bobby won at 2100 and lost at 2270. Well, uh, congrats <laughs> for the win. <laughs> Hello, Hifse. Okay, let's go to the study on domination. You can make it perfect, Ingol. Perfect. I'm gonna go make some food, so I will be in lurk mode. Okay, Kuro, enjoy your food. Uh, yeah, Ingol, I, I asked you in the general chat if it was okay for you, but didn't get an answer. I don't like to lose. Uh, that's good. That's a, the sign of a champion, Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> that's good that you don't like to lose. Um, okay, that link was for me. <laughs> Let's open the study and so today I'm going to start with with a puzzle we we've seen the other day. Um, let me see if I can do something with this layout. What could I do? I can hide this. I don't know. Okay, let's keep it simple. Um, yeah, I'm gonna add a new chapter with a position. Okay, Bobby. Uh, I'm gonna call it Adapted from a chess.com puzzle. Hey, Sphinxy! And I'm gonna put credits to Sefa, and I don't know how to start, how to write his name Sefa Sefans Tien or could be this or without the S Sefan Tien Sefas Tien Sefans I don't know <laughs> Sefans Tien okay thanks Bobby <laughs> hey James what is up so empty board uh, because the other day I think it was yesterday when we were doing chess.com tactics uh, this puzzle appeared with with a clear domination uh, concept, and then Sefa asked, "What if that pawn is not there?" And we discovered it's um it's a nice puzzle without the pawn. It's maybe even cleaner. So let's add it here. Hey OJ, what is up? So if I remember correctly, now I need to remember the position. Uh, let me see. We had the knight on e4 for sure. Uh, the king was on g4. That's sure as well. The king, I think it was on f1, queen on c1, and our queen was uh, able to go to f7 and to b5. So it was here. Yeah. Hey, RT Dialer. So it turns out the puzzle is beautiful with this pawn on b4 but without the pawn is also beautiful and I think it's even cleaner like for the concept of domination so was this position yes it was this position so why to play create chapter yeah uh, I know some of you might might have been here during the uh the tactic session so so i don't know if if you want to if you want me to already give away the, the solution and continue with the next puzzle or i don't see why that would be a puzzle isn't white winning <laughs> well there's only one move to win so that makes a good puzzle i guess when there's only one move to win I, I call that a good puzzle. Okay, so Morcos is gonna think about it. I think Bobby and Sphinxy were here, so they already know the solution.
Oh, you were not. Ah, you came later. Ah, okay. Okay, Bobby. Then you can think about it. <laughs> so it's things he knows. No, it's uh, it's okay, Marcos. It's the topic of the of uh, the end game session is to do domination puzzles. So this is a good one to start with. Also, oh, Bobby left on this one. Yeah, Bobby, uh, the puzzle, the real puzzle on chess.com was with a black pawn on b4. There was a black pawn on b4, uh, but the solution is exactly the same. There's a small difference, a small detail. Uh, the line goes to a position where black is sort of in sub one, so in the real puzzle black is forced to push the pawn to b3, which is terrible. While without the pawn black is forced to give the queen or mate. It's hard to think ab about sub one hint. hint. Queen d5 maybe. Well, queen d5 is interesting, but gives away... Well, uh... Okay, the coordinates are wrong, <laughs> but at the same time are right, because there, there are no pawns, so the coordinates are right. I mean, it, it doesn't matter. Oof. But yeah, the original position was a black pawn going this way. Ah, so the coordinates are right. Yeah, the coordinates are right. They, they, they're right, yeah. Um... So yeah, the problem with queen d5 is maybe queen c8 check. d5 or b5. Uh, well, b5 is check at least. Queen d7 then. Queen d7, you want to protect the squares where he can check from. But if you don't make a threat yourself, I guess... Queen d7 is a nice attempt. Actually, we we were considering it in the in the actual puzzle for a long time. We were a bit annoyed that there was some queen h6, but I'm not sure if that was the line after queen d7. If we don't check, he might go stalemate. Well, let's try queen d7, which is not the move. <laughs> um, I guess black would do nothing. I would play queen e3 probably. Queen h6 is mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Queen h6 is a bad move here. Queen e1 or queen e3. Yeah, queen e1 makes sense. No, queen e1 is problems because of knight g3, I think. Queen f7, queen f2, king h5. It's fancy! Man, we all know you were here. We all know you, you, you knew the solution. Don't give it away. Hello, Viticio. Hi. <sighs> Yeah, the silent move is the third one. <laughs> okay. Um. Aha. Uh -huh. An invoice. Mm -hmm. Next puzzle, we all want to think. Okay, it's fancy. That was probably deserving a timeout. If if there's some mod in the chat, please timeout, Sphinxy. Okay, so then let's show the solution because things he gave it away already. Queen f7 check with the idea to go to f2. Um, there's there's no way. I mean, he he must go to e1, and and that's an important point. Let's see why other moves lose. Well, king g2 and king g1 obviously lose to queen f2 check knight g3 checkmate. Okay, Bobby, see you later. And king e2 loses to queen f3 check, queen h1 winning the queen. 
Um, therefore, king e1 must be played. Now, after queen f2 check, king d1. And this is the hardest move of the puzzle, but a very beautiful one. Only move to win. <laughs> and, and I think it, it it's... Uh, yeah, it's a move that suits very well with with this uh, study on domination puzzles. This is the greatest domination ever, King H5. King can still go C2, while the King cannot go C2. King h5, only only move to wing. <laughs> yeah. It was really, really nice when, when we found this idea. King h5 and and black is in Sukhs one. Uh, the king cannot move, obviously. The queen can the queen has no checks now because when the king was here there was a check here. But with the king on h5 there are no checks. How is one supposed to find that? Well, we found that yesterday. Hey, Sefa. No, not so hard to find once you realize black is almost in Sukhs one. Um, okay, so... Yeah, this king is trapped and this queen needs to, needs to keep uh, d2 defended. So, you know, because of this checkmate. Uh, but there are no good squares to do so. Uh, in this diagonal, the king just removed the last square. So these are not available. And of course, this is not available either. And this is not available either. And the only other square <laughs> allows the checkmate on f1, right? So, yeah. Yes, Sefa, you were credited. Uh, the title of this chapter in in the study is adapted from a chess.com chess .com puzzle credits to Sefa and Stien. Yeah, King H5 is the only move um, to both avoid checks and also remove a square the square uh, from the queen. Which is a square where the queen can still defend you too. Hey, love, how are you? I would never think to move king h5 in such position. Uh, yes, the link to the study. Yo, Gamebox, what's up? Playing the daily crazy house. Oh, and I'm missing it. Oh, but I have to do the end games today. I'm a little bit overworked. <laughs> I am a, bit, a little bit overworked. Mm, yeah, I'll have to work uh, more after the stream, I think. Joy almost crushed me in Crazy House. Damn it, Kudo. Damn it. Pepe is an overloaded piece. Yeah, damn it. Okay, so where do I have my book? Here is my book. Um, random... Well, after king h5, there's no more moves, so I would stop the, the puzzle there. King h5, exclam, and black resigns. So, numbers. I need numbers for, for puzzles. Okay, guy in box, have a great night. 2706 is not a proper number, OJ. Maximum is 2545. <laughs> but good try. Uh, I so much want to play Crazy House. 627, okay. Six two seven. Um, okay, 
we don't have more numbers, I'm gonna do 6 to 7. Let's go. Add a new chapter. Six to seven. The Sphinx he says one thousand and fifty two. Okay. And Capiavianca four two. Oh, we we already did that. Capiavianca. Kudos says eighteen fifty one. Okay. So let's start with six to seven. Uh, we have empty board, bishops on b8 and d7, king on h8, 1969, <laughs> that clip proves we already did 420, uh, 1969, okay. Uh, bishop on h4, king on d5, rook on c3. That's it. The, uh, we have a uh, bishop as compared to other puzzles where rook dominates two bishops. Maybe picks Joey's crazy house rating as the next one. Okay, Kuro, what's Joey's crazy house sexy rating? It's got to be lower than 25, 45. Not so sexy, don't do it. No? How is not so sexy? I'm sure it is. Okay, uh, I think the position is it's put so wide to play. 1649. Okay, Kuro. 1649 is next. Uh, why to play? Okay, someone explain to Sefa what 420 and 69 <laughs> mean. Um, okay, why to play and win here? Uh, this is going to be 6 to 7. Let's put it in proper place. There you go. Very well put, baby. Okay, it looks like this bishop doesn't have a lot of squares, does it? For example, these are not available, this is not available. And a7 probably runs into a fork. Um, so attacking the bishop could be a good first move. Uh, bishop must go here or here, right? Um, then what? Did you solve these puzzles? No, they're new to me. I'm solving them right now with you. <laughs> Joey doesn't fuck around. Rawr. Um, I like Rook B3. I don't know. Uh, don't see any other interesting kind of move. It's the other way. It's the only way to attack a bishop. So, so let's let's put that move over the board and see what can black do. Um, bishop f4 or bishop h2 look like the only moves to me. Um, bishop f4 looks suspicious but so does bishop h2. I don't know which one to start with. 
This one looks familiar as if you had this one on Lab.com, maybe. No, I had... I don't think I had this one. I had some... Who's messaging my man? Uh, in the in the team, in the WhatsApp group of the team, they want to play a tournament. Marcus Red. Okay. BC Nights, hello! Yeah, cool, but uh, I cannot play that tournament, so... <laughs> Rook B3. Okay, let's let's suppose he goes bishop, bishop F4. Um, Rook F3, I was thinking, but maybe Rook B4 to keep this, guy, this under control. Yeah. No, actually, this also works. Bishop B8 would be a blunder. The good thing is we can we can make moves. Oh, now he can change diagonal maybe. But the same happens with rook before. Hello, dance with me. Hey, Basinga. I'm just playing random moves here. This check never works. Ah, but wait. Ah, okay. Rook b4. I have an idea. Now he cannot change diagonal because check and rook b7. He need. If I keep the rook on the b line, he needs to keep this this square under control, right? So rook b4 looks. Make main line. I think rook b4 makes more sense. Now he has to play bishop h2. Only move. Because bishop c7, rook b7. So bishop h2 only move. And if I go here, he goes back to a 4 So I'm not making any progress. <laughs> Should I dominate the other bishop now with rook b7? Rook b7, bishop a4, rook a7... Any ideas? Maybe like the bishop is worst on f4, and maybe I have another idea with the bishop here. I don't see any other idea. Rook f2, he changed diagonal. He changed diagonal. The bishop is probably worst on h2. Aha! Hmm. I was thinking the bishop here for him is now tougher to change diagonal and and maybe I, I can have a rook h4 check idea if I move this bishop. Is this endgame not a draw? Well, the book said it was wide to play and win in this position, in this starting position. I'm not sure if the moves I make make sense, but they look promising. Rook b3 is the only way to attack a bishop, so it looks like like probably the move and now there's only bishop f4 or bishop h2 and no matter where he goes for example we were seeing bishop f4 if i attack it on the b line uh, he cannot change diagonal so he has to go to h2 if i attack it now he has to go to f4 etc but i'm trying to look for a winning move here if i move this bishop i'm threatening rook h4 but if I move it with check, I solve the problem of... So it would be nice to move it with, with another threat. Of the bishop, he moves the king. Ah, but the king cannot go up. With the rook here, the king cannot go up. So if I move this bishop, he has to go to g8. Because this bishop has no moves, right? Okay, okay, okay. I think we're close. This book is Domination in 2545 Endgame Studies by Kasparian. 
Maybe bishop g5. Yeah, bishop g5 looks interesting. It, it controls this square, which might be important if we want to move the rook later. Let's try bishop g5. So I think in g8 looks the only logical move now. The king cannot go up because of rook b7. We're threatening this. Bishop f2. Trapping the bishop, says James. Uh, but king g8 again, right? I mean, I'm not really trapping the bishop because if, if I do this now, the bishop can move out. 1490, okay. I add 1490 to the list. One puzzle for each day. For each day. <laughs> no, we're gonna do several. Mm. Oh, bummer. Bazinga. <laughs> <laughs> bishop g5, king g8, I have the same problem. Ah, but now I can attack the bishop. Yeah, with the bishop on... So I remove this square, and now I attack the bishop. The bishop only has g3 or g1, which is not good because the king is here now. I think I think that that looks like the solution to me. I think this bishop is completely dominated now. The bishop can still not go here because of rook b7. We remove this. So he only has these squares and now rook g2 is going to be a problem. If king h7, I take the bishop if king h7. What do you mean, Sphinxy? Does any of you guys play the Sveshnikov? My coach say I should try it, but I think it's hard. Uh, only by mistake. <laughs> Back after bishop g5. After bishop g5? No, but king g8 is the only move. The king cannot go up. The king goes up, I, pin the, I win the other bishop. We said that already. The king can never go up. And... Maybe here he can try bishop g3 or, or well, he, he cannot switch diagonal. Ah, king g6, I missed that. You're right, you're right, Sphinxy, I missed. I missed king g6 here, yeah. Yeah, 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 this is not working, you're right. Okay, so yeah, definitely king h7. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, rook h4, king g6 as well. Hmm. So I bet we move the bishop away. I mean, to control the steel f4, because now we're gonna have two threats. Yeah. Now we have a double threat of winning either bishop. So we move the bishop out, controlling this square, but not blocking this. So I guess bishop c1 or bishop e3. I'll put it on e3, I guess. And now this is a threat, this is a threat. And is there any safe square, king g8 now maybe? in g6 also. He cannot move a bishop. If he moves a bishop, he loses the other bishop, I think. Because this square is white. If he moves this bishop, this square is white. If he moves this bishop, this square is black. So he must move the king now. So king g6 or king g8 would be my, my guesses here. King g6. 
uh, I think against both of them I'm gonna do the same rook. once the king goes to the g file I think we have this rook b2 rook g2 idea because this this bishop still dominated right yeah bishop c7 rook b7 bishop g1 rook g2 but well bishop g1 is not possible here either um yeah and king g8 I have the same so I think this bishop is lost now, isn't it? Bishop g3, rook g2. He's not in time to defend it. Hmm. Cool. Cool. But we didn't see all the lines. For example, here king g8, rook b2, bishop g3, I assume rook g2. And if the bishop moves, we check to attack this bishop. For example, the bishop can try to go far away, we, we win it. He can try this, we win it. Which is nice. Um, but... Oh, but nothing. No, I thought uh, I, I didn't... I thought in the first move he had a an, an alternative. But yeah, the alternative to bishop f4 is bishop h2. So it will happen the same, right? Bishop g5 here. No, wait. Then, then we don't threaten rook h4. Uh huh. Okay, so if he goes first to to h2, I guess I go rook b2, and then once he goes to f4, I do rook b4, and then if bishop h2, bishop g5. I think this is the way. And um, this is like the trickiest line, so. Probably the main one. Make main line. Bishop h2, rook b2, bishop here, rook b4, bishop here, and bishop g5. Do you know the way? The way to what? Um, Okay, let me remove some lines, delete from here. Oh, perfect. And here, I don't know, let's say it's just a meme. Ah, okay. Probably the king h7 line is the trickiest. And then we, we went to bishop e3, king g6, rook b2, and rook g2. Bishop g3, in which position go home? I have the feeling it was before. I love how you say meme. Oh, how am I supposed to say it? <laughs> I, I read it totally in Spanish. <laughs> I'm so used to, to that word in Spanish. Wasn't there the simple rook check, picking up the bishop? At which moment angle? Like team, meme. Aha, uh -huh. but don't change it. <laughs> In the last line, you need to be a bit more specific because I only have one working line right now. String crashes and fixes. Oh, is anyone else having the same problem? You can get frustrated when you're doing chess by yourself, not improving like I feel I do, like I feel I don't. Uh -huh. um, the simple rook check picking up a bishop. At which moment? You mean here, for example? You meant here, uh, Ingol? Yes. Yeah, here it doesn't work, the check, because king g6 attacks our bishop. Yep, exactly. So, it doesn't work. Um... 
Okay, let's check in the book if this was the solution. This was 6 to 7. We spent already a lot of time on this one. Here. So, the book says rook b3, yes. Bishop h2, yes. Rook b2, yes. Bishop f4, yes. Rook b4, yes. Bishop h2. And bishop d8 here. Uh huh. It gives bishop d8, not, not bishop d5. Not bishop d5. Bishop d8, which is strange. I guess it has another idea. Well, this is the threat, obviously. Now it gives king g8. Ah, well, with the, definitely there's no, no resource of attacking the bishop now. Um, uh, okay, the threat is clear. So either, and we're protecting c7, although rook b7. Uh, so now he has to go to the g line or play king g8. The book only gives king g8, I think. Yep. The book only gives king g8. But I wonder what happens if bishop g3. Okay, the book says king g8, rook b2, bishop f4, obviously on the move, rook g2 check, and now it goes to the f file for some reason. That I don't understand. So king f7, rook f2, bishop e6 check. My lord, king c6. <laughs> king e8, of course. <laughs> Look at that. Rook takes f4, king takes f4, king d6. <laughs> uh, I think our solution was simpler, simpler than this. <laughs> what do you think the odds are that you get this position? Uh, rook and bishop versus two bishops? Could, it can happen. It can happen. And it gives another line after the sixth move, king f8, which is here, king f8. It gives another line after king f8. Why, why wouldn't he go to h7, for example? Well, after king f8, it gives obviously the same line. Rook f2. Ah, no, because now there's a difference. There's no bishop e6 check. So wait, king e8. Rook takes f4. King takes uh, king d6. Threatening checkmate. Uh, you cannot go there because of rook f8. So now king e4. King, uh, sorry, king e8. And rook e4 check winning so for example if king here uh, rook e7 bishop has to move uh, oh so doesn't have the bishop does not have any 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 safe square we have Look at that. If you start solving those on the fly, I'm not playing against you anymore. <laughs> now, I mean, I think our solution was simpler. I don't know, man. I don't think this is a good puzzle. Okay. Bishop c8. Well, bishop c8 with threat and checkmate. And, and we're going to win the bishop, because king e8 is the only way to stop the checkmate. Apart from losing the bishop immediately. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to 
use the main line of the book as the main line. Although I think our solution was simpler, and it was this one. Yeah, arguably the most beautiful one. I'm going to delete our line. I think our line was probably correct. Delete. Okay. Okay. Um, so next puzzle is Joe is crazy has rating sixteen forty nine. Try it on engine your line. Try it you if you want. Tell your man to <laughs> try it on engine. One six four nine. One six four oh now. <laughs> okay, one six four oh. Can you take a look at bishop d d eight, bishop g three? Uh, too late, Basinga. If we want to do a list of puzzles, I cannot stop at uh, at every line of every puzzle, and I didn't like this puzzle anyway, so I'm moving on. Sorry. One six four zero. Oh. One six four zero. Oh. Here it is. King on b7, rook on f3, bishops, not bishop on g5, pawns on c2 and d2, and black has a queen on e5, a rook, no, a king on c4 and a pawn on a4 uh, this looks familiar, did we already do this? white to play and then wing no we didn't, we didn't do this thank god I put numbers <laughs> we didn't do this but it looks very familiar to me uh, da, 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 da. So one six for all goes here. Okay. Okay, white to play and win. Black has a queen. We have rook bishop. Um so okay what ideas do we have um if the king ever walks in this diagonal we might have bishop f6 so for example the check with the pawn to start with could be an idea uh what happens if the king goes up what happens if the king goes to b4 well if the king goes to b4 with the no i thought i had a check maybe i had this check so d3 could be an interesting move to start with seems easy <laughs> You say so. This check takes, takes, we don't win that. Yeah. And this check is interesting, but then our pieces are a bit suspicious because the bishop is hanging and it's defending the rook. I don't know. d5 tricks if king c5. How? Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, that's true c5 d4 check and no matter how he takes we win the queen for the bishop so also then d3 c4 uh, is very tempting okay let, let's put a move on the board uh, he probably needs to go king b5 then or king b4 so let's let's do moves that lose this loses the queen this loses the queen. Uh, this loses the queen. Or this way. So he has to go here, here, or here for now. If he goes here, I guess c4, he's gonna lose the queen because either he goes here, or he goes here, d4, or he goes here. So that's already winning the queen. So either king b5 or king b4. 
I would start with king b5, looks the simplest because again c4, if he goes here we have this check, if he goes to a5 we have the <laughs> beautiful bishop uh, d2 check and next move is bishop takes queen checkmate and if king b4 ah we have this check oh that's beautiful if he goes down we have the discovered check against the queen and if he goes up we have this check and here we have this but here we have this so we're winning the queen anyway nice Therefore, here he can try king b4 immediately. And I'll probably do this anyway, right? Because if he goes down, I have the check. I think it's exactly the same patterns. Is it not? It doesn't matter if the bishop is here or here, I have exactly the same patterns. Um, you need quite the imagination to create a, such a pass. <laughs> yeah, so here I would do this, check, check, and next I'll win the queen. It's beautiful, yeah. Which one would be the... the... the main line? I don't know. The book will give some of them as the main line, but I think they are all the same. Okay, let's see the solution. 1640, 1640. Okay, let's go all the way back. And it says d3 check, king b5. So it gives king b5 as the main line. Makes sense. It's one of the best attempts. c4 check, king b4. And bishop d2 check. And now he tries king c5, obviously. Queen takes d4. Well, the line that gives is king takes d4, bishop c3 check. So, okay, let's put this as the main, 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 main line. Um, I'm going to delete the rest of the lines. Delete. Okay, got it. Um, cool. So that was sixteen four zero. Next one is. Uh, I think Sphinxy requested twelve to the square twelve times twelve. I don't know how to say that in. Uh, plus 908 and I think that's 1052 King e4, but King e4 we take the Queen King e4 we take the Queen and we're gonna promote and black is never promoting with our bishop isn't that obvious we have a bishop we have a bishop controlling a1 <laughs> do i need to add the, the line one more move for the puzzle I mean, I think it's pretty obvious. Even rookie three could work. Next, next, the chat is going crazy. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, okay, yeah, the chat is going crazy. Uh, what was I going to see? Ah, yeah, 1,052. 1052 Rook and Bishop versus Rook and Pawn One thousand fifty-two. Empty board 
White has a king on f8. Very good king, right? Very good king. Just kidding. Uh, rook on g4, pawn, black pawn on a3, and bishop on g3. No, not this. Rook. Rook on h3. White to play. Are the number pages in the book? No, it's the number of the puzzle. Uh, white to play away. Okay, create chapter. What do we have here? Um, we can draw immediately with rook h4. <laughs> well, this king is not in good shape, this rook is not in good shape, but this pawn is about to promote. Um, this is gonna be tough. Rook checks, bishop checks, rook checkmates. How 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 does <laughs> how does that work? Well, the check is interesting to start with. Yeah, let's have a look at that. Um, you said bishop checks, and and then we checkmate, but I don't see the checkmate. Oh oh oh! But what if we start with with bishop f4 threatening rook g7? So that he he needs to go to h8. What about doing this way, the other way around? How's he gonna stop that? So let's say he tries to promote. I go rook g7, checking h8, bishop d4, uh, e5. Looks strong. Looks really strong. And the bishop is already controlling promotion, so rook f3 doesn't work because of rook f7, and I can take because he's not promoting. Yeah. Now this has to be. Has to be winning. Sleep on chess. <laughs> hey, what's up? Um, maybe black can try something different. It's made, Pepe. You're not taking rook. Oh yeah, but I'm taking it on f6. <laughs> You're right, it's mate, but I'm taking the rook on f6. <laughs> hey, sleep and chess, thanks for the follow. When I watch this stream, I know how it works my brain. How? How? <laughs> Okay, so after rook e3 after bishop e5, but then we have, well, well okay, good, good point. Uh, I guess, ah, uh, but, but, rook g3, take my bishop, I check my due. And I play, and I, I need I need to do it on, on g3 because if I do it somewhere else you run away you don't take my bishop but if I do it on g3 I'm threatening to take your rook so yeah okay okay huh so rook e3 doesn't work uh, check doesn't work rook e7 also works oh yeah because it's checkmated so he has to take Ah, wow, this is beautiful as well, because you allow the promotion. That's nice, rook e7. You allow the promotion and you checkmate, winning a rook versus queen position. There are many ways to win. And <clears throat> So in the first move, bishop f4 is cool. In the first move, we do bishop f4. Uh, how can... 
Yeah, rookie seven works, Bazinga. Rookie seven is not working. Wait, what? In 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 this line in rookie three. Rookie seven check. How is this not working? I mean, black has only one legal move, <laughs> has to take, and I will threaten a checkmate. The only way to stop the checkmate is to allow us to capture the pawn. So, yeah, it totally works. It totally works, rookie seven. So, rookie seven works, rook g3 works, and maybe there's more moves that work actually. Um, I don't see any of the move, but maybe. Um, okay, so I was considering whether black can try something different instead of a2 here. Uh, so our threat is bishop, uh, rook check followed by this. So rook h5 maybe to control e5, so that there's no bishop e5. Let's see how this works. And uh, how would we win here now? Because now we don't have bishop e5. Well, there's a there's a small <laughs> there is a small threat here. <laughs> Black has a small threat, so rook e7, rook a7, all those moves fail. I think we have to go bishop g5. I think we have to go bishop g5 and and bishop f6 with the same idea that if he ever sacrifices here, we we have the tempo of the checkmate threat on the h file. Rook f7 threatens pawn and mate, but might still be a draw. Ah, I missed rook f7. Rook f7 threatens mate. No, it doesn't threaten pawn, it doesn't threaten the mate. What are you saying? There's no mate. If he would play a2. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, so bishop g5, I think, has to be played. And now we're threatening this idea, and there's no rook h6. So what can black do? Mm. a2? Niente. Yep. Nada. <laughs> yeah, rook h6 is not stalemate. Rook h6 preventing preventing bishop f6, uh, we take it. And now what's the shortest checkmate? Um rook h7 I guess. Hey Doctor Strange, what is up? A2, bishop f3, rook f5, what? Not following that. So can he try something different? Uh, rook h5 doesn't work. A2 doesn't work. Someone said rook f3, I think. But now we play rook f7. Now we play rook f7. Yeah, this is a strong threat. What about bishop f4, rook d3, rook g7, king h8, bishop e5, rook d8. Okay, it's fancy. I'm gonna have a look at that. So you say rook d3 to 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 do that check. Check king h8. Now bishop e5. Is bishop e5 the best move there? Yeah. And you say rook d8. King e7, rook d2. Mm. 
Well, then rook g2. I think I win with rook g2, Sphinxy. <laughs> That's an easy one. <laughs> no, but maybe the rook can hide somewhere else. Maybe the rook can hide on d5, so that I cannot win the rook with a discovered check. Or on the a-file. What about rook a8? You know, I don't have rook g8, and, and he's protecting the pawn. Yeah, rook a8 could be potentially nasty. The king could have moved h7, it wasn't over there. I don't know which line are you talking about. Um, but this one is tricky. The previous one. Give me the line, man. The previous one, you mean after rook g2 check? The one where I win the queen, the rook? You meant that? This one? Rook d2, rook g2 check? <laughs> I mean, after king h7, I take the rook. I, I think I win this. Okay. But rook a8 is interesting. I don't like any discover check, so I might as well move my king. King of six. I was thinking king e six. Uh, king of six. Wow, <laughs> it's a strange looking move. I was thinking king e six, so I'm threatening uh, to win the rook, and I don't know where the rook goes. I, ass I assume rook a6, but maybe there are more, more moves. Rook a6 check, and I hide from the checks. And um, how is this rook hiding now? Maybe, maybe on h6. Maybe he can hide on h6. Oh man, this is not easy. Keep going. <laughs> it's tough to trap that rook. Or check me that king. Um, but maybe he's in Suxman. Maybe I just move the bishop. Like I do a random move with the bishop, and if a2, I, I play bishop a1. What about that? So I do, for example, bishop d4, and now if a2, bishop a1. And I think the rook is in Suxon. <laughs> the safest place for the rook is h6. Thanks, Bush. Have a good night. Rook h5 check is the only try here. Ooh, if rook h7, rook g1. Yeah, if rook h7, any rook g, rook g, anything should win. This is too much. Yeah, uh, I would continue with this. Oh, no, 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 we have rook g5. Oh, <laughs> no, yeah, there's no move. There's no move. This would be a funny, I, I don't know if the book gives this line, but this line with uh, losing Tempe with the bishop and finally bishop a1. This puzzle's number was 1052, uh, requested by Sphinxy. Okay, let's see what the book says. It's probably some other line, probably some of the lines we, we've seen 
How did it start? Ah, yeah, with bishop f4. One. Okay. Oh, it the line finishes with bishop a1. So bishop f4, rook d3. <laughs> so that's the line. That's the main line. Make main line. Uh, delete this line. Delete the a2 line. Okay. Delete the rook h5 line. Okay. Delete the rook f3 line. So the book gives rook d3, rook d7 check, king h8, bishop e5, rook d8 check, yes, king e7, rook a8, yes, no rook d2 but rook a8, make main line. So look at that, we found finally the, the main 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 line. King e6, yes, exactly the line we gave, rook a6 check, king f5, rook, rook h6, yes. Bishop d4, I guess bishop c3 also works, I don't know. a2 and bishop a1. This pretty stuff just increases my love for chess. <laughs> Go home. <laughs> yeah, chess is amazing. Uh, and it has a comment here. It's rare, most puzzles don't have any comment comments, but this one has one. It says the presence of Black's pawn a3 on the board makes it possible to introduce a new feature in Bianchetti's idea. So Bianchetti is the author of this puzzle and I think many puzzles in this chapter. Blocking the pawn by the move 8, bishop a1 to thwart the danger of stalemate. Pepe is wrong, bishop c3 is a blunder. You think so? I don't. I mean, it's it works the same. Bishop c3, then a2, then bishop a1. It's the, it's the same, uh, Sefa. It's exactly the same. I'm gonna remove the line. Just sarcasm. Okay, I, I'm missing my my. The other day I had my T-shirt. I'm immune to your sarcasm. I don't wear it now. Okay. Um, the influence of Bianchetti uh, is also seen in, in uh, puzzle 1053 and 1054, in which Black's Rook falls prey to the battery located on the long diagonal. Okay, so other puzzles. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm seeing the puzzle number. The next puzzle, the 1053, and I'm seeing the position, we, we need to do this puzzle, guys. I'm seeing the position, I tell you we need to do this one, even if you didn't request it. Because look at this position, this is a funny position, we need to do this one. So, here's the thing, black has a king on a8, white has a king on h1, so far so good. White has this battery, rook b7, bishop g2, okay, and black has rook on h8, pawn on h2, and pawn on h3, and pawn on h4, and pawn on h5. <laughs> it's white to play and win. We need to do this one. <laughs> Okay, and I'll go grab a drink. Where is our bishop gonna be safe?
I remember this one, but not the solve. Bummer. Rook b6, king a7, take all the pawns. No, but if you move the rook now, they take the bishop with check, so... So, I don't think so. I mean, if you want to play for the draw, definitely. No, the first move has to be moving the bishop, but where? Bishop f3, bishop c6. Yeah, any bishop move looks okay to me, except maybe bishop here. Because bishop here allows rook h6. But bishop in any of these doesn't allow the rook to attack the bishop laterally. And he can never attack it frontally because of our rook uh, blocking. So I guess bishop should be able to move to one of those. Mm. Okay, which one do you like more? Bishop f3? Okay, let's go with bishop f3. What would you do with with black? Is there any stalemate trick? No. I was looking for some stalemates, but I don't see them, so I guess he has to go rook uh, c8 to be able to not lose the rook immediately. And now what do we do? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Maybe we can start taking pawns. I don't know. And at, at some point... So this is very similar to the... This is exactly the same we had in the previous puzzle. If we rotate 90 degrees the position in the previous puzzle we had uh, yeah. oh so i think bishop e4 might might be more more precise for 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 a reason yeah we had the rook on h6 rook on uh, g7 king on h8 and this is exactly the same this is the only spot available for the rook to be safe so i think i prefer to have the bishop here controlling this square to be able to play king takes h2 now so, if I start with bishop e4, and he goes here, I go here, he has no checks. Ah, no, 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 no. He, he, he does have it. Yeah, he really does it. Because I cannot take the rook, I'm stupid. <laughs> so, how are we going to... How are we going to win this? We're not. Oh! Does black have something here? Maybe attack the bishop this way? Bishop d5 I think is better. Why? Okay, so anyway, my idea was stupid. So, I still don't see the difference between those. Rook c8 is going to be the only move. And in this case, he's going to do the same. Check. And then attack the bishop. So, let's see if there's a difference with, with the bishop on d5. Bishop 
bishop d5, he has to go here, I take, check, 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 it's the same. I see the same problem. And is there something here? The rook can always check if you take all pawns cause a stalemate. So should I let a pawn leave? Yeah, so I'm thinking here, for example, king g5 should be winning. No, but... I have the same problem. No, except not, except there's no... Yeah, there's no rook h4. Aha. Uh -huh. So... <sighs> missing something here. Why wasn't this winning in the other lines as well? Why not rook h4? Oh. Because of rook b1. Rook b1 and we take the rook. Yeah. Okay, so let me go to the beginning. Bishop f3, rook c8, takes. Let me remove all those arrows, takes. You miss rook d5 here for black. Instead of attracting the bishop, attacking the bishop. Uh, I'm sorry I'm not following your ideas, but it's really hard with the delay. Um, I still don't understand how some line is winning and others are not. For example, bishop h1 here. Oh, rook f3. Oh, this is a nasty check. Goodness. Rook f3 is an immediate draw. Okay, that. Wow, and he has that trick always if I'm blocking the pawns. For example, bishop e4. Rook e4. Now just move the rook in which position because now I'm in check. Okay, so that's a really nasty trick. So that means that if I play bishop d5 and I go to g5 with the king, let me see, check, 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 and here I don't take, I go here, rook d4, bishop h1, and rook h4, there's rook b1, check. I really didn't understand why rook h7 is not true. Uh, what do you mean, Sefa? King takes h6, rook h7. What? Just for the record, h6 and h7 are here. What do you mean, Sefa? 
rook c8 instead of rook d4 rook c8 here uh huh I think I just take the pawn I guess because now this rook is in suit one the rook is already in the, in the place he wants to be now he has to move away and I, I have rook h7 against the check so h2 and h3 rook h2 after king takes h3 okay so if I, let's have a look so after king takes h3 rook h2 but I take it I <laughs> take it, Sefa, you, you still have legal moves. Now rook d4 doesn't work because no stalemate. Yeah, once I go to g5, there are no stalemates. The thing is, after this first check, I cannot do that. <laughs> Until I, I take all the pawns except one. Then I can do that. Rook d4, then rook h4. Rook g4, then rook h4. Aha, I see your idea. Rook g4, and you pretend that I'm gonna take. <laughs> you suppose I'm gonna take the pawn? Yeah, rook g4 is a good attempt. I cannot take the pawn. But I go here. So this puzzle is about taking all the pawns except one. So there are no stalemates. Why not rook b5 after rook d3? After rook d3. After rook d4 here? After this and rook d4? Why not rook b5 here? Um, instead of bishop h1 that I played? Well, the king is escaping if I do that. I think you had rook d3 in some line. Ah, in another line. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, here I would play bishop h1. Because here he escapes. Uh, now it's rook and bishop versus rook and pawn. I don't know. The king is not, not trapped anymore. But bishop h1... I mean, I want to win this rook with the discovered checks and that rook has only one spot well only two spots to save spots and he's far from there rook d4 king f5 rook d4 okay let's see sphinx's line um, which is here right rook d4 king f5 rook d4 Bishop f3. I would go bishop h1 anyway. But okay, let's see your line. Bishop f3, rook d3, bishop e4. Yeah, nothing to do here. With this pawn alive, there are no tricks. If there was no pawn, rook d5 here would, would be... Yeah, I guess many lines work. I would go bishop h1 though. It's the easiest because... Mm. Ah, but not with the king here, you're right. There's rook h4. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. So this might be the trickiest line. Maybe this is the main line. Hey, Savely. Oh. Let's see the solution. 
Bishop d5 exclaim. Rook c8, obviously. King takes h2, rook c2 check, king takes h3, rook c3 check, king takes h4, rook c4 check, king g5. How are you safely? Rook d4, bishop h1, rook g4 check. I'm sorry, that was a mouse leap. I wanted to remove those squares. Pretty good, good to know. King f5, rook f4. Aha! Uh -huh. Bishop f3, rook h3, <laughs> bishop d5. <laughs> and now rook d3, bishop e4. Nice! That was sort of transposing to your idea, Sphinxy. Let's promote this, make, make this the main line. Delete other lines. That's a funny puzzle. That was a funny one. Deleting, delete from here, delete from here. How many lines did we have? <laughs> delete from here, <sighs> delete from here, delete from here, delete from here. There you go. My language is better, he's always complicating things. <laughs> hey, Bitnag, what is that? Is that a puzzle? Pahatlem. Hey, welcome, thanks for the follow. I'm, I'm following strict order of requests, uh, Sefa. It was a mistake, okay. Uh, so next one, I think it was requested by Kuro, it's 1851. Eighteen fifty one. We have very complicated position. Empty board. Queen on a seven. Ah, uh, thanks, Bahadlem. <laughs> Thank you. Um. King here. I should add a command for that because every Monday, if I don't get that question of what book is this, like 10 times on the stream. King here, rook here, and that's it. Why to play and win? Yeah, it's this book. Why to play and win? So, let's dominate the queen. Well, the obvious check The obvious check could be a move because the knight cannot be taken because of the fork, right? Hey Daniel. Oh, I'm angry. Okay. So, it's the only check, so so I would calculate that first, I think. King F2 first. <laughs> Looks a bit slow to me. Looks a bit slow to me. Hello, I boop. What is up? Queen e7, though. Okay, let's start with this. What can black do? Black cannot take. Black must go to the e file. Then we might keep checking. What could be better, rookie king e4 or king d4? 
After the check, he will go here. Only square, right? So it maybe doesn't matter. I think both transpose, right? After king e4 or king e3, if we do this check, he has to go to f4. Only move. Because again, we have the fork. So. This check. <laughs> and, and next, rook g8. Oh! And it's checkmate! It's always checkmate, right? Even if he tries to run? This is checkmate. Is always checkmate? Is it always checkmate? Oh, sorry, Janice. <laughs> sorry. It looks checkmate all over the place. Um, or maybe there's some some way trickier like this. Ah, wait. This is tricky because he can go down now. Ah, no, 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 no. Now, I think we have to do this. If we go 9 5, what are we winning? Because now he has escapes. I think. I think this is good. And, then, and now. And now 9 5 for this checkmate. And my idea is if he checks. Oh, he has queen c5 check. I thought queen a5, I had king f2 because of this. But he has queen c5. And maybe I still. <laughs> this is too complicated. Maybe, okay, this is totally not forced. So maybe now he, ha he needs to prevent that. Queen d6. Oh, but, but I'm threatening this as well. H how does he stop both? He doesn't. Okay, so this was a winning line, but I think it wasn't forced. What about rook g4 before? Which moment? Okay. First of all, until here it was all forced, and rook g8 check, so the king is going to be in one of these three squares, and after rook check, he's going to be on, on one of those squares. So I should have a look at all of them. So h6, I think it's checkmate. Let's try that. h6, we do this check, and both king up, I can pre-move knight f6, it's checkmate. Okay, h5 was tricky. Um, h2 should be checkmate for the same reason. Hey, okay, what is up? h2 should be checkmate easily again. Ah, oh, wait, 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 wait. He has king h1. King up is checkmate. King h1 could be tricky. What is up? Okay, how are you doing? This is a really tricky puzzle. I still think one needs the king. But we can play king f1 here. Yes, this is domination. Um, so I guess I'll escape. I can escape from these checks with king f2 and then to this check with knight e3. We've seen that in the other line. So I think here I will play rook g3. Or not, or king f2. Ah, no, I cannot play king f2, so king f1, and if he checks, king f2. Yeah, king f1 looks 
better. So this idea, and my idea is if he checks, I go to F2. No, that's not a check, Pepe. <laughs> I'm helping with the maths Olympian in the UK. Oh, nice. That's nice. Him, our policeman. Thanks for the follow. Yeah, and again, two threats that cannot be defended. So let's say he he goes to h4. Let's let's go to h4. Knight f5 check. If he goes up, it's checkmate. Either of them. So goes down. I still do this check. Has to go down. Rook h8 is interesting. Rook g2. Uh, queen h7 in the king f1 line. Rook, rook g1 checkmate. In the king of one line, if queen h7, rook g1 is checkmate. Let me let me finish this one first. Um, oh, this is checkmate in two, guys. <laughs> okay, this was easy. Oh yeah, Boki said in the chat. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. Okay, okay. So in the in the king f1 line, it was with the king running to h2, and we did this check, and we did king f1 here, and I say if queen f7, rook g1 is checkmate, because we're threatening two different checkmates here. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay, so that leaves us with h5 and h3. Let's go h3. Looks like a very dangerous spot. Knight f4 check, if he goes up it's checkmate, if he goes down... I think we, we repeat the line here, knight f3 check, king h1. And... Oh. Oh, this is... No, we don't repeat, this is checkmate in 2 as well. Okay. So h5. h5 is probably the trickiest. I'm gonna make this the main line. I think this is the trickiest. We try knight f6. If knight f4, he runs up, then he attacks a rook, check and checkmate. Ah, oh, yeah, that, that might work. That might work. I know we don't have this check, the queen is there. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. Okay, so this is this is not working. This is not working. So yeah, I think we need to check with the knight here. He cannot go up. He nice. He he has to go down. And here is where I I tried knight f three before. Um, because knight f, if knight f five and he starts running down, I think my knights are, are are not helping for the checkmate. So I tried this idea of, of knight check and knight e five. Could you play the entire sequence? It's pure beauty and educational. Yeah, I'm just exploring all the lines. I think this is the one that still needs to be solved. So I think this is the trickiest one. When I finish, I play the whole sequence. Is 95 winning or not? I think I think it's really hard to stop. Uh, so let's try to stop this move. Queen f7. I mean the checks we, we already saw that only help to have more checkmate threads and the, the, the next check helps the knight. So maybe queen f7. Oh but then king f2 threatening both mates. If he takes the knight, we have one mate. If he takes the rook, we have the other. Except it's not mate. 
I'm, I'm stupid. Except this is not made because now there's King G4. Okay, okay. I'm stupid. But we win the, we win the queen. Yeah, we win the queen. Qu queen f7 is never a move. Uh, it was a sexy pattern if 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 I wasn't stupid. Okay. Um I mean there's no other square to defend f4 that I can think of because all all the squares are protected basically. So that remains that leaves us with the check, but now it's another checkmate thread so there's two different checkmate threads and the only check the only checks can be answered with 93 and is there a way to control now both squares nope yeah this this has to be winning this has to be winning so this and yeah it's gonna be checkmate. So the whole sequence was let's do queen a5, maybe king f2 and queen here, knight e3. Let's do this the main line. I think this is the trickiest. And let's play the whole sequence again. So knight b4 check. And the king has three moves. Uh, taking the knight loses the queen immediately to the fork. So he has to go to one of those squares. It doesn't really matter which square he goes to uh, because after rookie eight check he has to go to f4 again. From from e3 he would have to go there anyway because this knight is protecting these squares and the knight can be taken because of the fork. So king f4 only the knight is protecting this of course. So king f4 only move. And now check. And the king is pushed to the g file. And it's going to be pushed after rook g8 to the h file. And we've seen mate patterns against all of those squares, but the trickiest one was h5. So that's the trickiest line that I consider the main line. Check here, runs down to avoid the checkmate. Check here, and now 95. Let's see what the book says. This was puzzle 1851. Um, ba -ba 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 -bum. Hey, just once. Eighteen fifty one, eighteen fifty one. So night before check, king e four. Let me delete all the lines. Yes, king e four, the one we did. <laughs> Not king e3. Uh, king e4, rook e8 check, king f4, knight e5 check, king g5, king g5. But then he goes to h5, so so it's the same. Knight f6 check, king h4, knight f3 check, yes, king h3, knight e5, yes, queen a5, yes, king f2, queen c5 check, and knight e3 check. Knight 3? No, knight 3 advantage, not check. It has the sign of advantage. And the line stops there. Yes. <laughs> we got it. You clip that? Nice. I'm deleting lines now. Delete from here. Delete from here. Oof, so many lines, so many lines. Delete from here, delete from here. And, okay. Um, something wrong with this. Let me delete from here and, and do the, and do it again. Because Lee just went crazy. Let me add the moves again. There was something wrong there. 
Okay, and the line stops here. My first clip, is it okay? <laughs> I hope it is. Okay, that was 1851 requested by Kudo. Next one is 1969. 1969 is actually It's actually a very interesting puzzle. I think we did once one like this in, in Chesscom. This is gonna take us a while, I think. That's why to first empty position. Pawn on b7, king on a2. This is gonna be a very instructive endgame, guys. King on c7, white to play and win. Some of you will remember probably um, similar puzzles we, we already had. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Maybe I have those puzzles here on this study. Let me have a quick look. Puzzle from chess.com? No. One second. No, I don't have other puzzles from Chesocom, so I guess not. Okay. Oh, I let me change the title of the chapter. It was 1969. Yes, white to play and wing. Who has the move here? Well, white. <laughs> yeah, it's white to play and wing. We promote this way. Black promotes this way. Not 1961? Someone requested 1969. Was it you? It must be moved with Kim but not taking the pawn. Yes, exactly, Sefa. That would be my my guess. King b6. No, King b6 cannot be. And when we studied these endgames... Yes, okay, I think that's the move. King d6 has to be the move. When we studied these endgames, um, King and Pawn versus King and Pawn, we probably have this in the study on King and Pawn versus King and Pawn. Yeah. Not this position, I mean, but this, this type of endgame. This was under the section of dual purpose maneuvers when you're you're at the same time shouldering your opponent from because here the problem is if we ever go after this guy he's gonna go after this and he's in time that's the problem so we're gonna shoulder this king at the same time we keep our king being defensive against his pawn so king d6 totally seems the move to me. Um, the pawn raise, we can calculate. We will have the queen first, but that's going to be a draw. So, so I guess it, it has to be king d6, I think. Yeah, someone said king b6. The problem with king b6 is the king is already in the square of our pawn and we have nothing there. Okay, king d6. Let me remove the king b6 line. What is black going to do? Um, couple of options there. The keys make him move king and also check and pin. Huh? <laughs> If I was black, I would probably attempt king b3 or king b2. Um, if he pushes the pawn, 
yeah, both both ideas are to be considered. If he pushes the pawn and we take it, we have to be careful. We don't have to be careful. We take it. Yeah, that's that was an easy one. Yeah, this king will never take our pawn because now we're we have the opposition. Um, so here he has to move the king. And my best guess is king b3 is the most um, critical. Okay, saying king a3. Okay, with the idea to, to promote. Yeah, that also makes sense. Have to consider both of them. Yeah, king a3 is probably the main. Make main line. Because king b3, I think we're in time to for the pawn raise now. Because he's not in time, basically. Hey, Melek. What is up? Uh, king c2, I guess. And he's totally not in time. Yeah, and now we win, as we know how to win against a pawn. So, king a3. It's a critical attempt. Um, now king c5 to force king a4, I think, would be normal. And and now I think we're exactly in the same position uh, we had. Well, no, in the puzzle we had, I think it was with the pawn on g2, but it's similar. <laughs> Good night, Bazinga. Fito is sleeping. But yeah, we had we had this in the other study. Let me let me see if I find that study. Study uh, king plus pawn. Maybe. Nope. <laughs> study pawn king and pawn versus king. Not quite that one. Okay, never mind. Let's continue from here. Here we start the race. He goes b5. That one was a bit different. Our king was under check at some point. So our king was on c4, the pawn on g2, so it was a bit different. Bishop and rook pawns are draw, yeah, although although not 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 always. Actually only be against queen. Against queen well, it depends on your on your king position always. Bishop's pawn are the more drawish. Rook pawn only if you have the best king ever already there. If we put black king on a3, we promote with check. Yeah, that's the idea. That's the idea. Uh, so f5, b4. Now this is the important moment. Um, I think we must go down because now the race is well the race is also interesting yeah it's interesting because we have queen a8 queen b8 exactly Melek oh but he has this oh yeah, now he has this, so we don't win the queen. <laughs> so I think we need to go uh, this way. And if b3, this way. And now when the king is on a3, we push. Yeah, this has to be it. So he promotes first, but we promote with check. And if he goes down, we have the checkmate. If he goes up, we, we do queen a8, queen b8, and we win the queen. This... This is it. So let's make this the main main line. Hmm, it's already the main line. Okay. Let me delete other lines. So, King D6. No, Lee Chess, come on. Okay, remove from here and I'm gonna repeat the line. <laughs> King A3. 
Um, adios amigos, enjoy the rest of the puzzles. Uh, thank you, Sphinxy. I don't think I'll do more, or much more. Um, are you still here, Joey? What's the time? Okay. So king d6, uh, king a3, king c5 to force king a4, then f4, b5, f5, here, 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 here. Hey, Bobby. Um, and yeah, this. What's the concept? Simply having this one tempo then? Yes. <laughs> and the construction also. Because it's not just the tempo, it's also this king being checkmated thanks to our king. Which wouldn't happen with our king up there. We could promote first. In some positions we win the race, we win the pawn race. Like here, if we, if we keep pushing. We win the pawn race, but we don't win the queen. But in this position, we're, we're not winning the pawn race, but we promote with check and we're winning. So it's not, not just the tempo, but also the, the position of, of the opponent's king. Okay, let's see the solution. I'm sure this was it. 1969. King d6, king a3, yes. King c5, king a4, f4, b5. And now it gives king c4, not f6. What? Ah, f5, sorry, sorry, I missed a move. <laughs> yeah, f5, not f6. f5, b4, yeah, king c4, b3. King c3, king a3, f6, b2, f7, b1, f8, king a4, queen a8, king b5, queen b8. Yes. Okay. And last but not least, we have Cephas request 1490. Ooh, rooks versus queen. Fourteen ninety. Rooks versus queen. It's gonna be tough. Queen, the worst queen and king ever. What are you doing? Hey, Bobby. Uh, domination puzzles. As we were doing when you left. <laughs> Uh, why to play? Okay. Yes, if I, it is 1490. Give me a sec. Well, while, while you try and solve it, I'm gonna see some messages. Okay. Okay, uh, three out of four so far, not over yet. How many rounds is that, Bobby? Oh, you said full week, so nine, nine rounds? I think I have nine rounds in my head. Okay, what do we do here? We have one check, and we have another check. 
I guess we have to check or or prevent the checks namely those two or if we move the rooks enough also those um, have the feeling I cannot stop oh yeah I can play rook f8 rook f8 w would stop all the checks rook c5 is also a move to consider rook c5 I don't know maybe maybe rook c5 hangs a rook oh sorry you said never mind already okay so rook f8 and rook a6 and rook c6 are my candidate moves but if, I, if yeah if i'm being honest i would check with i would check i wouldn't play rook f8 for no reason i mean this king is terrible and um which one do you prefer to start with? Rook c6 or rook a6? Okay, let's play rook a6. Uh, the thing is the king cannot go to g7, so we're pushing the king down. And eventually the king will have to go to h3, I think. Right? Check. He cannot go here. He has to go to one of those. And after this check, he has to go to h3. So the only difference between starting with rook c6 or rook a6 is to have the rooks here or here how that makes a difference we'll see this rook is protecting this so i like it like it is for example i can try this uh, but then he's not cut if i do this he has this check Rook f4, rar. Well, I can keep checking here. Rook c3 check. King h2. And again, I don't see a difference between having the rooks here and here. Rook c7, funny, but he starts checking us. It's the other way with rooks. I don't know. I'm trying to imagine the rooks the other way. Um, I don't see anything. So we can ro go rook a7. But there's queen f5 as well. Isn't it? So after the rooks are here, there's... There's always queen f5. I have to go... Yeah, no, I don't know. So maybe here I can try this, rook a1. Now that my rook is... Now that I have these this squares covered. Mm. But I guess still king h2 should survive maybe there are other moves to survive you can block with rook f3 in that case in which case well I don't have rook a7 here um, so check here and you say with the rooks here if I if you go rook a7 and check rook f3, but then there's check on c2. I don't know. I don't believe it. There must be something. We 
with a click on H2. I'm trying the typical idea where you sacrifice one rook, then you skewer king and, rook and queen. Queen f7, b2 after, is it? I don't follow. Mm -hmm. Let's go back. Let's go back. Shish. Yeah, I'm trying a shish, but I don't find I'm not finding it. Okay, let, let's let's just put the moves. Let's move with the other rook first. I think the line is gonna be the same. Shish him. I don't see any difference. Wait, where does this rook start? Starts on a1? No, on a2. Mm. Hey, Joey! Wow, it's $60 to ship here. There's no... Uh, cheaper way? Oof, da. You have to just come here so I can give you a birthday present. Okay, I'll go there. I'll go there for my present. Hey, Joey, I sent you a message. I don't know if you saw it. Um, I'll go there. Tomorrow I will discover how much is it to, to ship something to Germany from here. I hope it's not much. Um, there should be a cheaper way. Why are you shipping to Germany? Uh, because... Because I need to send a hat to Germany. We can keep checking with one rook. With one rook. I was thinking about rook c5 instead of rook a5. You know, if the rook was on a1, I had the, the idea. But with the rook on a2, I'm, I'm not quite sure why is that. But yeah, the idea is he cannot go down. And force the black king to h2, so we move the king. Ah, good point. Oh, yeah, that's 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 a great point, Melek. Yeah. Now we keep checking with this rook, because he can still go. He can still go up. And can we do this? Yes, it's the same. King g4, we win the queen, right? There's no way to save. Because we have this rook. <laughs> I added the same pillow as you. Yeah, but that one. That one because I saw in your wish list. <laughs> so. So, yeah, if king h2. Just king f3, and if king h3, king, h king f4. Well, if king down, there's checkmate, so he has to do that. Look at that. Great idea, Malek. Yep. So, 
starting from here check 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 also you can do rook c7 and king takes c7 rook a7 uh yeah sefa but <laughs> why would you hey new board check ah this is beautiful let me remove those arrows okay check and checkmate so let's make this the main 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 line and let's remove all the rest well, I'm assuming this is the main line in the book as well, but maybe it's not. Let's see what the book has to say about this. This was 1490. 1490. Yeah. Rook c6 check. Yes. If someone watching you, it would be good. What? Uh, king g5, rook c5 check, king g4, rook c4 check, king g3, rook c3 check, king h2, king f3 check, king h3, king h4, king f4 check, and the line stops there, but, um, oh, yeah, it's not checkmate next move, it's not checkmate next move, guys, because there's queen d3. <laughs> okay, so that's why the line stops there, now nah, let's which book? This one. This one. Um, guys, it was funny, but I think it's time for me to say goodbye. Let's all get some rest. Yeah, no. <laughs> hey, just bonus. Just bonus, you were there. Thanks, mate. Ha ha ha, is Pepe angry? I don't think so. Thank you, input username. Thanks, Rike. I'll be back tomorrow with Quartillo. Quartillo is back tomorrow. Uh, at 4.30. 4.30 p.m. Uh, Central European time. Um, I don't know. I hope to, to see you there. And tomorrow night I'm going to try... I think it's tomorrow night. Need to check the agenda. But I think, yeah, tomorrow night I'll try some... Uh, guess the move crazy house I lost two games where I had two extra two pieces advantage and got flagged that's more than enough for one night boo sorry <laughs> my computer not but after I clean it up then motherboard has problem and I have not any page then bring it to repair in my computer shop okay new bird I guess that's the answer to whatsapp <laughs> so you lost your computer oh no that doesn't sound good more cause you're slower than a turtle then you should try the tank control that has a turtle <laughs> I think it's called classical I thought that Quartillo is dead and you found someone who is, looks like him and you're trolling us you killed Quartillo uh, yeah don't tell anybody but I killed him and and tomorrow I'm gonna bring a fake Quartillo, but let's pretend it's Quartillo. Okay, guys. Uh, let's see who can we raid. That's bannable on Twitch. Is it? Oh no. I kill confession. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Yesterday I had funny with with the clip. I killed myself. That's a funny clip. Uh, 
then well if i'm gonna be banned then i retract myself from my previous declarations i didn't kill quartillo it was just a joke psych <laughs> okay any now want to play some end games in bullet no the only end game i can do in bullet is the checkmate with king and knight you know with with knight and bishop you know that let's see who's streaming i think mellow is streaming i thought kudo was but no slightly of mellow Okay, guys, see you tomorrow with Cuartillo. Hope to see you there. Have a good night. Bye bye. Kuro ended up with a go. Okay. I think Melo is starting, so let's go there. <coughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> My bad. Have a good night, guys. Ha <laughs> ha